Hi, I'm Chris Walker. I teach uh, federal administrative law, federal courts, civil procedure, and, and related courses. So when I was in high school, I wanted to go to the Harvard's Kennedy School of Government and go into government. That was kind of my, my thing. I just uh, And then when I went to college, uh, I just realized that the best route to get to government and public service is, is through law. Um, you know, so many of the, the people who staff government agencies are, are lawyers. Um, so I got to law school that way, uh, and then when I got to law school, I realized, oh wow, like, I could also teach. <laughs> you know, you kind of get the best of all worlds. You can serve in government, you can teach, you can write about government. Uh, and that's kind of, kind of how I ended up where I was. I mean, I love to teach, but what I love you more than teach is to, to help get students into, into government, yeah. Um, that's, that's really the, whether it's you know, judicial clerkships or working on the Hill and, or working in state government, um, that's where I get kind of my biggest like, thrill as being a law professor, is seeing that I played like a really small role and then going on to, on, on to doing something great in the law. When it comes to government, I, I study federal administrative law, so I'm interested in how federal agencies work on the ground, you know, the relationship between career civil, civil servants, political appointees, between the White House and an agency head, between courts uh, and, and agencies, and the way that Congress plays a role in empowering and constraining what, what government does. So that's kind of what I do, that's my research. Uh, but in working in government, uh, I've had like, the chance to work in all three branches, which is really cool. So after law school, I, 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 I clerked uh, for a judge uh, on the Ninth Circuit on California, and then for Justice Kennedy on, on the Supreme Court. Um, in between that, I worked at the Justice Department uh, on the civil appellate staff, and that, that, that's a staff that defends federal agencies. So it was like right, you know, right in what I wanted to do as, as an academic. Uh, and then um, in undergrad, I interned for Senator Harry Reid, my home state senator, when he was minority whip, which was really fun. Uh, and then when um, Gorsuch was uh, nominated to the Supreme Court, I took a leave of absence and spent six months uh, working for Senator Hatch on the Judiciary Committee for the Gorsuch confirmation, which was just an absolutely amazing experience to kind of see how, how, how that whole process works and, and, and how the Senate you know, plays its advice and consent role. Uh, my federal courts class is a little bit different than the normal one. I, it's based on my mentor Pam Carlin's course at Stanford. I focus more on constitutional litigation. So usually federal courts is the theory of judicial review, how federal courts get power, and, and those types of questions. And We cover a lot of that in my class, but we focus a lot more on how to sue the government and how to defend the government against suit. Um, and it's just a really fun class because we talk a lot about strategy, like who to sue, who to choose as plaintiffs. We talk a lot about remedies, you know, are you just thinking, seeking injunctive relief to stop the government action? Are you also seeking damages, the role of attorney's fees and punitive damages? Uh, and so it's just a really fun kind of advanced constitutional law class with a heavy focus on, uh, on procedure and strategy. So that's a fun class. I'm really excited to teach it. It was my favorite class in law school. Yeah, so in my classroom, I think the students that really excel are the ones that just just fall in love with the subject, you know, that they're, you know, they're looking, obviously they're doing the reading for the class session, but they look beyond that. They might, you know, skim some of the articles, the, you know, the scholarship that's based, you know, part, part of the class, or they might, you know, my favorite thing is when students come to class and, and, and mention something that just happened uh, in the world that's related to that. And oftentimes in my administrative law class uh, on Monday morning, I'll just be, all right, like, what's new? What's in the news in administrative law? Uh, and you just find that some students, as I, you know, in most of my classes I say, you see administrative law everywhere by the end of the semester. I'm currently working on a, a book that weaves together a lot of my prior scholarship, my empirical scholarship, a lot of kind of surveys, interviews of agency officials. And it's called, the, right now the working title is Constraining Bureaucracy Beyond Just a Review. And my basic argument is that administrative law is a field focuses way too much on courts, like the role of courts in reviewing what agencies do, uh, and that the vast majority of agency actions never make it to court. So in the book, I kind of survey uh, all the different ways that agencies regulate us that never make it to court. Uh, and then the second half of the book, I, I, I say what we should do about it, like what Congress should do differently, what agencies should do differently, what the president should do differently, and importantly, like what lawyers and law professors should do differently. So that's kind of the 
One of the big projects I'm working on right now is this book. Um, you know, it's just encouraging the field of administrative law to look beyond courts, to look at other ways to both constrain and empower uh, the way federal agencies act. Well, I mean, well, I mean, the big draw coming to the school up north <laughs> uh, is the faculty. Uh, I mean, the, the, the administrative law and regulatory faculty here is, is really unrivaled. Um, you have you know, Nina Mendelssohn and, and Julian Mortensen and Nick Bagley and historians like Bill Novak. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a faculty that thinks seriously, carefully, critically about the federal administrative state, uh, what it is, where it came from, where it's going. And so that's really, really exciting.